The DS6000 sets a new standard for mid-range storage by attaching open systems and mainframes with enterprise class functionality and reliability. Everybody that's been working on this project has been very excited about it. You're taking something that's the size of a refrigerator and compacting it into 1 20th of the size. The thing I'm really most proud of is the simplicity of the design. It's very easy to maintain. We tried to make this box intuitive. Looking at a DS6000 from the back, you'll see two controller cards, one on top of the other. You'll notice that there are two power supplies, two battery systems, two independent line cords. This box is designed to be very robust, keep the data running, to tolerate failures, and to balance performance. The redundancy just jumps right out at you. In the front of the box, you can see the 16 drives that line up from the left to right. The other thing is the operation panel. It's a very simple, straightforward, intuitive interface that tells you the state of the box and also guides you in service. If you do draw a line down the middle of a uh, DS6000, you have two halves, and it's divided by what we call a mid-plane. On one side of the mid-plane, you have 16 drives, and on the other side of the mid-plane, you have all this logic, the controller cards. The controller card is it has, again, your fiber channel adapter, it has your device adapter, and it has the main processor that is handling all the command processing. There's actually four paths coming out of the controllers talking to the disk. This gives us a very fine-grained capability to tolerate failures and to balance performance. One of the technical challenges we had was how to manage the RAS characteristics of fiber channel arbitrated loop. We got around that by using switch technology in there so that every drive has a point-to-point -point connection not only increases performance, but it greatly increases the ability to isolate failures and maintain the system. DA6000 is designed to be able to easily add expansion units. There's capability to add up to 13 expansion units to the base unit, that resulting up to 67 terabytes of the capacity. The mirroring capabilities that the DS6000 and DS8000 have in common are very advantageous. We are able to run remote copies backup between the DS6000 machine and 8000 machine. I could conceivably have many DS6000s mirroring to a DS8000 and save cost and time. A great number of the functions of all of our prior products are going right into the DS6000, which is fantastic. You get all the advanced function and all the reliability, all the experience that we've had working in storage, and that's going into this tiny little package.